today we are not going to beat around the bush. We're back in the Brompton tree. It is, however, very cold and it is snowing. So we are going to get to the point. Bromptons come from the factory with different gearing options. One, two, three and six speed. For 2021, the one speed has been discontinued. This is a six speed Brompton. It consists of a three speed hub. It's a Sturmy Archer wide ratio hub and it has two sprockets with a derailleur giving it six speeds. The wide ratio hub is made specifically for Brompton by Sturmy Archer. It is under license, which is why it's difficult to get spare parts for. Why are we doing this? Well, when we were doing the video on the two versus six speed Brompton electric, someone asked us, why don't Brompton make a three speed Brompton electric? Well, we can't really answer that question, but what we are going to do is turn our six speed manual Brompton into a three speed manual Brompton. The reason for this is the man behind the camera prefers a wide ratio Brompton without the faff of the derailleur gears. The only disadvantage for some people is that the gaps between the gears are bigger. So a bit like a mountain bike versus a road bike. However, he's a mountain biker at heart. It's awesome. The snow seems to be improving. I hope you can see it. Some people have asked what my frog is. Actually, it's a reflector. I bought it when I was visiting Sweden because they all seem to have it. It's really sensible when it's dark. We have made a video before on how to remove your rear wheel. We put a link to that in the description below. So what we're going to do is remove the chain tensioner, remove and replace the sprockets, shorten the chain, and then put it all back together. We might do some cleaning in the middle, maybe just to warm up. Step one, remove the hub gear cable anchor. This is definitely better in a work stand than in a tree because it doesn't move quite so much. Next step, remove the gear indicator chain. This is a common question. People lose them or they fall out and then they're confused as to what it is. So every now and then, if they're not done up properly, they will come undone. This connects to the inside of the hub and changes the gears. We've made a video on the internals of the hub. We've put a link in the description below. One of the benefits is we can get rid of the whole of this derailleur gear setup, which will make the bike look a bit sleeker. Top tip, to remove the chain tensioner, remove the tension from it first before you remove it. So simply drop the back end, take the chain tensioner off of the chain, and then you can unfold your bicycle again. Now, when you remove your chain tensioner, it shouldn't fly off into the far distance. To remove the chain tensioner nut, I will need a 15 millimeter spanner. Now we're just going to remove the chain tensioner. It really should just wiggle off. And here he is. He's seen cleaner days. Next, we're going to take the wheel out. So really that is just involves undoing the nuts on both sides. Again, using our 15 millimeter spanner. Now we're going to remove our little nut cap. Now I've got the bolts undone. I'm just going to give the rear wheel a wiggle to loosen the tab washers. Another tip, to remove the wheel, you'll need to deflate your tyre. Then you can simply slip the wheel out. These are our sprockets on our six speed wheel. There's two of them. Brompton actually make a sprocket stack with one sprocket that we're going to replace 
these two with. It contains one sprocket, spacers and a guard. We're going to use the spacers of this set, but we're going to use our existing sprocket because it's worn with our chain. Another tip, whenever you change your sprockets, change your chain and vice versa. They wear together. And now the fun bit. We're going to remove the circlip using a screwdriver. You just need to put the screwdriver in and lever it off. Easy. And now I can simply remove the sprockets. The very dirty spacer and the other sprocket. This is the Shimano nine spline system. It is different from the three spline system used on the Saks and SRAM and standard BSR Brompton wheels. So here is our clean six speed sprocket stack. It consists of a dust cap, a 16 tooth sprocket, a spacer, a stepped 13 tooth sprocket and a circlip. And now I'm going to go and get my 13 tooth sprocket stack. and open it so we can compare. Not to be confused with the BSR three-speed stack. It consists of a dust cap, which helps prevent dirt and grime getting into your hub. A spacer. A 13 tooth stepped sprocket. Another spacer. And a circlet. The snow is getting heavier. We are going to reuse this 13 tooth sprocket rather than using this nice shiny one. That's because at the moment there is a shortage of Brompton chains. So we are going to shorten our existing chain and use our old chain and sprocket. And now to install my sprockets, I need a clean wheel. And here he is. All nicely clean. Now I'm going to install my sprocket set onto my wheel. As we said, the Shimano system, as used on this, is keyed. There is one larger spline to help you. This ensures that you can't get anything on the wrong way round. First up, the dust cap. Then the spacer. Then our step. 13 tooth sprocket. And then the next spacer. And finally, the fun part of the circlip. The circlip, which holds your stack in place, fits into this little groove here. It's fun to install and we find it easiest with a screwdriver. One side, two sides. When we had our two sprockets on, the largest sprocket was 16 tooth. So we had a hundred link chain. Now with our single sprocket of 13 teeth, we only need a 98 link chain. So we're going to take out two links. For this, I need two tools, master link pliers and a chain tool. We're not going to show this in detail because we've done this in one of our previous videos. There is a link in the description below. And now we're going to remove all of the derailleur controls. We are not going to show this in detail because our video is starting to get too long and it's cold and it's snowing. We've now removed all of the rear derailleur gear mechanism. So it looks nice and tidy. And now we have our nice single sprocket installed on our BWR 
three-speed wheel. And we're going to put it back in our frame. I'm going to make sure the tab washes the right way up. I'm going to get my 15 millimeter spanner and do up my axle bolts. There are two chain tensioners used on Bromptons. This one, which is used on a single speed and a three speed, where there are no derailleur gears. And this one, which is used on two and six speed Bromptons. When you change gear using your derailleur, the cog moves side to side to allow, allow the chain to move between the sprockets. So we're going to change the chain tensioner and put this single speed one on. It fits on exactly the same as the derailleur one that we've just taken off. We're going to put the chain tensioner on with the chain in place. Next, we're going to install the chain tensioner nut and washer. Remembering it's only done up finger tight and a little bit more. Now I'm going to set up my hub gears. We have made a video on this where you can follow step by step instructions. Don't forget to put your nut caps back on because no one likes rusty nuts. Next, we're going to remove the two speed derailleur gear trigger using these two bolts here. Excuse the police helicopter circling over top. And there's our brake. So in my opinion, it looks much sleeker. The gears running, the gear, the chain's running beautifully. The brake cable's working lovely. And we've got no ugly spring and we've got one less cable. What's not to love? And we've got a wide range of gears, but just three of them. If you like this video, we'd really love it if you give us a big thumbs up. I know Bromptons don't grow on trees, but please let us know if you like our Brompton tree. Did we miss anything? Or have you got any other suggestions for the next video? Please let us know. Don't worry, we are still working on the handlebar grips. It just is taking longer than we thought. Keep watching, we'll upload it soon. If you want to see more of our videos, it would make our day if you subscribed. And thank you to everyone who has already. Okay. <laughs> Ready? This hub is made specifically for the f***ing yappy dog. The re Actually, where am I starting from? So it's a bit like the difference on the gearing on... <laughs> All I could see was Mountain Vic. <laughs> <laughs> to mount a big fire <laughs> How to remove? Remove your six speeds? No, remove your rear wheel. <laughs> Wheel's not done up. I couldn't remember his name. It is different from the three spline system used on the sham. Sham? To install my sprockets. I need a new shiny new. Hello, Mr. Pigeon.